Hi. Hey guys. I need a tripod that's at least five, six. If not, five, eight. My hair looks awful. Pop it up, pop it up. Guess he's going on holiday. I tie up my hair to do the washing up. Me. Pop it up. Oh. Bitch. Do you know what this is? It's not coffee. It's not a chocolate. This is coffee hot chocolate protein. <laughs> Wow, doesn't actually taste that bad. Let's get on with the video. Good. This is a mildly better location. Okay, hi guys. So, I'm gonna shoot the video in here. There are a few things I just wanted to like get across to you guys. There are a few things going on in my life at the current moment, which I want to talk to you guys about because there are a lot of things going on in my life right now that are causing me a large amount of stress, okay? And I'm just gonna list them for you right now. Um. Poppy. What was that? Did you guys, did you guys hear that, that noise? Like, I wasn't imagining that, okay. Who's there? I'm the ghost of the third decision, yet to come. I'm currently shooting a YouTube video, so just be a bit quiet right now, because I need to film. It's very important. Don't go to the band and I'm not kidding you, just don't go. Okay. Like, I'm gonna listen to that guy. Alright then, bye. Boop, boop. This is just basically me chatting about some things that have happened in my life recently. No, I would do this as a vlog, but you're about to hear why I can't do that. And trust me, it's a really good reason for why I can't do that. <laughs> First thing that's been happening. Two weeks ago, I had a difficult situation in my life where I was helping out somebody and I got very upset. But in my conversation to this person, I was very calm and very zen. I smashed my phone. And I broke it into three different pieces as a photograph on screen right now. And so I was without a phone and I thought, it's fine, it's fine, do you know what, it's cool. I've got an uncle who does up phones and he buys and sells stuff like constantly. I have a bit of savings and I want to get a new phone anyway, I want to get out my contracts. I was like, okay, focus on the positive, Poppy, focus on the positive. So I go out and I buy a new phone. I order it from a company that my uncle told me to get to. So I got this new phone. But I was going to a festival the weekend after and I really needed a phone for that festival because at the festival there's gonna be a lot of drugs. I'm filming it so I have a lot of camera equipment and I need to be able to get in contact with my friends and the band and just loads of different people. So what ends up happening is that my phone that I ordered didn't come in time it came halfway through whilst I was at the festival and so as a result of that I had to go to the festival my sister's phone which had nobody's contacts in and so on the morning of the festival I was dressing up because for one thing my tripod that I had been using to film with this band broke I had to get a brand new one and the tripod that I got doesn't go very high I was messaging all my friends because the festival's only half an hour away it's not that big of a deal so I was like I'm not gonna carpool with anybody I'll just turn up at about midday and to get discount entry I needed to go in with a band which is basically what I need to do so I was like messaging on Messenger and on Facebook and things. I was like, Yay, Dad, Dad, give me your number so I can contact you by getting into the festival. And um, they didn't reply. And my mum could only get me there before three because she needed to pick up the kids. So it got to about three and I was like, Fine, I'm not going to go to the festival. This was on a Friday. I'd already ran 7K that morning. But when I'm stressed out, I go for a run. So I went for another run. So I ended up running 14K that day. And then I get a message back from the band that say, Yeah, 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 come over to our house. We'll put you up for the night so you don't have to camp at the festival, which is something that I was stressing about. And my mum's like, yeah, 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 just I can drive you at seven. So I'd get to the festival for about half seven and I'd miss my friends playing. But you know what? At least I would have got to the festival. So I was like, okay, that sounds like a decent plan. And I replied to the band and they didn't reply back. So I was like, okay, whatever. Um, I've got my sister's phone. I haven't got anybody's numbers, but hopefully I'll meet up with someone at some point. So I go to the festival and I have a massive duffel bag, which contains all my clothes and my ring and about 12 lighters in and this massive duffel bag weighs about 10 kilos and I also brought along my little camera bag with me which had all my equipment in. And so my mum drives me up to where the festival is, she drops me off at the house where all the band members are and I like walk up the street like with my duffel bag and stuff like carrying all this dip like I'm so sweaty. I was still wearing the clothes that I had worn to go running. I still had my headphones in because I literally just got back from the run and I was like okay let's go. But basically I arrive and I go to their house and I put down my stuff in there like the entry I knock on the door and no one replies and I suddenly realised that everybody must must be at the festival already and I've missed them. And I've got like a 10 kilo bag and I've got my camera equipment and so I figured that if I just put the valuables from my 10 kilo bag into the bag with camera equipment, head down to the festival and look for the band, everything would be cool. I just, I was a bit stressed out because I didn't want to have to pay 
full price and I knew that I'd have to. So I walked down to the festival with my camera equipment and right now it's about 24 degrees and I'm wearing my running gear. I've got a massive camera bag and I'm also wearing a trench coat. And the reason why I was wearing a trench coat is because I knew that festivals get quite mucky. So I brought with me a trench coat. And so I'm walking down this trench coat and I'm just getting more and more pissed off. And I listen to my music and I'm like, come on Poppy, just focus on positive. Smile, smile, but I can't. I am at the epiphany of stress. I walk into the festival and I walk straight past the security and actually into the festival and at first I was gonna be like no guys like hit me up with a wristband I need to pay but no one questioned it so I was like oh I got in for free Good. And I got there and I talked to the band and the band then say no, 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 no you can't stay with us in the house Sorry, we're, we're fully booked if you had told us earlier and I was like I couldn't tell you earlier because I didn't have anyone's number And so I had to sort all that out and that's caused me a hell of a lot of stress I will do a full story about the festival uh, later, but basically so I got back from this festival I only stayed one night and then I came back at about 9 p 9 or 10 p.m The next day and the reason why I only stayed one day is because I had to camp and also because I need to edit my camera gear and stuff and I had all this gear with me so when I get back, I see that my pass has been delivered, I've had my brand new phone, I am like, YES! And I go straight, I open it up, it's dead. So I was like, okay, I'll just put it on charge. So I put my phone on charge and then go to bed. I wake up the next day on the Sunday and I look at my phone, it's still dead. And so I then realized that it won't charge with any of my charges. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to send this phone back to the company. So I have to go through all this thing. So the past two weeks I have no phone because the person who I brought it on only replies once every 24 hours. So I'm there like, hello, phone damaged, please send it back to get it. Or could you please just like give me a different one that and then they, they reply and then you try have you tried um switching it on and off again and then it's like this conversation is going on for about a week and i'm getting more and more stressed because i have a holiday in another week after this so i have very limited time to get a new phone and i'm just getting more and more and more stressed but now okay i've sent off the phone yesterday i have now replied to the ebay seller today and maybe they'll give me a refund i hope they give me a refund but here's another thing that's been stressing me out okay without a phone i can't go out for a sunrise walk because we live in a dodgy area i'm not allowed to leave the house my bank card only only works one and that's it it will not it will let me put money on but it won't it just blocks me every other time so I don't have a bank card at the current moment which makes everything equally more difficult because I can't I have to ask people for cash before I go somewhere I have to carry cash around with me I don't have a phone and basically at the current moment my life is just pretty awful and I just wanted to make a YouTube video where I could vent about that okay so I'm sorry if this comes across as a bit of a weird one but I felt the need to tell people that I'm stressed because also I wanted to tell you guys that things are going to turn around and I'm going to make something of this Okay, positives poppy. What do I have? What do I have that I can say? Yeah is a good thing that I know is gonna happen one I am going on holiday soon and that makes me super happy So that is something that I can be happy about two I'm getting a brand new phone Which was way better than my old one three I'm getting out of a contract where I was paying nearly 50 pounds for a phone that was an iPhone 5s had only 16 gigabytes of storage and only two gigabytes of mobile data. Whereas the contract I'm in now is only 20 pounds a month, getting like 20 gig of data and I get unlimited calls and texts, which is so much better. And I'm getting an iPhone 6 with 64 gigabytes. That's a, that's, they are the positives, okay? And also, do you know what? Being at home sucks and I hate it, but I am learning that I don't cope being at home. And even though it's a bad situation right now, I have learned something and I am always grateful for learning new things. This has been a pure trash video with a really weird intro about the ghost. Don't know what that was about. Nali isn't a real word. And you know. Movie!